Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the latest release from the Vanilla OS team. That's right, Vanilla OS 2.0, codenamed Orchid, is finally here. So, what's new and exciting in this release? Let's get into it. First things first, for those who might not be familiar, Vanilla OS is known for its minimalistic and user-friendly approach. It's designed to give you a clean slate to customize as you like, without all the extra bloat. Now, with version 2.0 Orchid, they've taken it to a whole new level. One of the biggest changes in this release is the hybrid Debian base. Yeah, you heard that right. Vanilla OS 2.0 Orchid is now built on a hybrid base of Debian Unstable and Debian Testing. This means you get a more robust and flexible system that combines the cutting-edge features of Debian Unstable with the stability of Debian Testing. Essentially, you can enjoy the latest and greatest software without sacrificing the reliability that's crucial for daily use. Another major update is the all-new installer. The Vanilla OS team has introduced a brand new installer that's not only faster, but also more intuitive. It streamlines the installation process, making it a breeze even for beginners. The new installer guides you through each step with clear instructions and a modern interface, ensuring you can set up your system quickly and effortlessly. Plus, it's designed to handle various installation scenarios, whether you're dual booting or starting fresh. Now, let's talk about package management. Vanilla OS 2.0 Orchid comes with a new package manager called APX. This is a big deal because APX allows you to install and manage packages from multiple sources, including traditional DB packages, Flatpak, and even AppImage. It's super versatile and gives you more control over your software. With APX, you can easily switch between different package formats, ensuring you always have access to the apps you need in the format that works best for you. Security has also been a major focus in this release. Vanilla OS 2.0 Orchid includes a new system called ABroot, which stands for AB Root File System. This system ensures that if an update goes wrong, you can easily roll back to a previous state without any hassle. It's a fantastic safety net that adds a layer of reliability to your system. Essentially, AB root creates two root file systems, so while one is active, the other can be updated or modified. If something goes wrong, you can boot into the untouched root file system, keeping your system stable and secure. And for all you dark mode lovers out there, Vanilla OS 2.0 Orchid has a new and improved dark mode. It's easier on the eyes and looks absolutely stunning. The attention to detail in the UI tweaks makes the whole experience feel more polished and cohesive. The dark mode now extends to more system components and applications, providing a consistent and visually appealing experience, whether you're working late at night or just prefer the aesthetics of a darker interface. So, what does all this mean for you? Well, whether you're a developer, a casual user, or someone who just loves tinkering with their OS, Vanilla OS 2.0 Orchid offers a powerful, flexible, and user-friendly platform that's worth checking out the hybrid Debian base, the new installer, APX package manager, AB root system, and improved dark mode all come together to create an impressive release. That's it for today's video, folks. If you enjoyed this rundown of Vanilla OS 2.0 Orchid, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our future updates. Have you tried Vanilla OS 2.0 Orchid yet? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see for you in the next one.